Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Rudolph Not the Third, and what we'll be discussing with you today about disability is uh, a question that doesn't come up a lot, but I think it's important to understanding and kind of graphing things out in your head as to how disability works. The question is the issue analysis. Um, who are the groups that make up Social Security disability? Okay, so let's talk about that. The groups that make up Social Security Disability are DDS, Disability Determination Services, ODAR, Office of Disability Adjudication Review, and the local group is the Field Office, okay? I ended with them last because I want to go ahead and start with them. The Field Office. The Field Office is where a lot of people go to file, where a lot of people basically go to get updates on their claims, things like that. It's the field office. And what is the field office's main job? It's to create a bio, a file for you, to upkeep that file, and to also basically receive information from these other, not higher groups, but kind of like, you know, different adjudicatory groups, okay? So what does that mean? It means that basically the field office is kind of like your hub. The hub that basically takes in information, sends out information. When something happens, it goes back to the hub. So what do you need to know? Basically, um, you know, pretty straightforward and simple, DDS is the group that adjudicates your claim at the initial filing level and also the reconsideration level, okay? But what that means is that after that point, after you've gotten your first denial and your second denial, you're going to ODAR. Now, ODAR is the highest group inside of the Social Security Administration. ODAR is the Office of Disability Adjudication and Review. Now, the names aren't really that important, but what's important to realize is that DDS is filled with a lot of administrative individuals, okay? They're there on the front lines figuring out, yeah, this claim's definitely disability severe, requirements, five steps, med, cool, okay, good. And then you've got basically on the back lines, you've got the heavy hitter attorneys, judges, things like that. That's your ODAR. So think of DDS as kind of your, your bigger, you know, woven, you know, uh, classification system. You know, like they always talk about on gold shows how like, you know, we're gonna classify, we're gonna classify it now. Think of that as like the first classifier other than, well, I guess you would call the second classifier other than field office. Because field office will be like, hey, you know, you've never worked in your life, don't file for SSDI. Or hey, um, you know, you are not a, a natural citizen or one with a green card in which it's covered under the Social Security Administration rules in which you can file for Title II SSDI or Title 16 SSI. They're kind of like, all right, so let's call them classification number one, the field office. Classification number two is DDS. Okay, DDS is basically an admin group. They're not attorneys, they're not judges, they're just admin people trying to figure out whether or not you meet equal or exceed a listing. Okay. Then you go to ODAR. That's when you're going to your first hearing. That's the administrative law judge, and then thereafter, if you want to appeal, you go to appeals council, which has an AAJ. That's an appellate appeals judge. That's oh, an appellate administrative judge. What that means at that point, okay, is that you're dealing with a smaller classification system the woven pieces of that basket or that that thing that's gonna hold the bad claims up and let the good claims down at that point it gets much more constricted and tight and detailed but that's a good thing because it means that the claims that are supposed to go through are much more likely to go through at that point and the reason why is that I believe it is 33% for initial filing and it's anywhere from nine to 20 percent for reconsideration there's a swing there and currently for orlando um it's 47 percent passage rate and then uh appeals council is seven to nine sometimes up to ten percent passage rate what do you need to know about that the bottom line is that basically okay throughout that process it's a situation where your highest percentage passage rate is at the hearing and I'm going to go into another video as to why that is, but just remember that's the first moment in which you get to go in front of ODAR and have your trial, okay? So there's a difference between the administrative people and ODAR. So let's say field office, classification one, DDS, classification two, and then of course ODAR, classification three. All right, so just keep that in mind. That's what's happening. That's, you know, they're building your case, they're reviewing it, they're understanding it better, more details being added. Everything's, you know, we're making sure the right details are allowed to get through that great um so that's important so 
Um, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. You have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, this information may be old hat by the time you get to it. And also remember, very important, that uh, if you have a unique question for your claim, go ahead and give me a call because every claim is unique. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.